Howdy boys, it's MPC and today we're back for another drag race and this time we've got the best off-road vehicles part two because a lot of you guys missed the Camacho's appearance. So this time we've got the Camacho, the Terminus and the Draugr which should be the three fastest off-road vehicles. So we're gonna be doing some land drag races with various levels of upgrades and then we're gonna take them off-road and compare them there and do some further testing. So let's get started with our stock drag race. All right, here we go. Grenade's Stock thrown. drag race. Yep, grenade is thrown. Let's see. Man, this shits off so slow. Yeah. yeah. Damn, oh man. man, the Draugr's cooking right now. Love the Draugr. Yeah. Jeez, man. I think yeah, the engines are super important, especially for the Camacho, right? Yeah, the Camacho gains a lot with the engine upgrade. Yeah. I believe. That's crazy. Yeah, this thing is actually really slow with that <laughs> upgrade. It's so slow, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of pathetic actually. Okay. Well, I mean, nothing too exciting there. Went as expected, I suppose. Um, so let's go slap on the engine upgrades and then we'll uh, run it one more time. All right. Full engine upgrades have been applied to all of the cars and uh, let's see if it makes a difference. Yeah. Oh, oh, the Camacho is a lot faster. The Camacho Holy is a lot instantly, faster. Instantly. The engine upgrade just instantly transforms this thing. Yeah. That's wow. insane. That is wild. That is crazy. That is That's the wild. biggest jump in performance oh, I've probably ever seen. Oh, here we go. We're seen. cooking. Terminus is pulling, I think. Damn. <gasps> Not enough. Oh my Not god, it enough. is pulling now. Holy. Jeez, Damn. man. Interesting results. Yeah, the Camacho really needed that engine upgrade. It did. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go throw on the transmissions next, and then we'll uh, we'll see how they fare. Engine and transmission upgrades have now been applied to all of the cars. Let's uh, let's see if the Terminus can catch the Camacho. Oh! Oh, it's cl wow. The transmission oh, helped man. you a lot. Oh my God. Oh, not enough for the Draugr though. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Goodbye, bye Draugr. Bye. Damn. Oh Draugr's so good though. Yeah, it, the turning is where the Draugr really yeah. destroys. Yeah. Damn, man, the Terminus though. Yeah, that thing's, it's fast. It's so fast. It's crazy. Cool. Um, let's go finally max out the cars with the turbo and then uh, we'll see if the results change. All right, cars have now been fully maxed out. So let's see if the results change. Nade has been thrown. Predictions, gentlemen. I'm winning. Camacho. Oh, Thrones got yep. it off. <gasps> oh yep. my god. Goodbye. Goodbye. Camacho superiority. <gasps> Come on, cook, Terminus, cook. No way. No yeah. way. Yeah, yeah take oh, the right Camacho. Now. Yeah, you deserve this. <laughs> yeah, he's built. You are pulling. You are pulling. I'm pulling? Yeah, you're pulling. Interesting. It didn't look like it on my screen. Maybe I it was pushing towards you. Yeah. Huh. Okay, uh, let's do an L-shaped drag race next. Yes. To extend the uh, the track a little bit and see if the Terminus can actually catch the Camacho. Yes. For our next drag race, we've got the L-shaped drag race to extend the max distance of our track. So we're gonna be starting on the opposite side of the airport. And at this final curve right here, we're gonna take this and the first person to reach the end uh, to a line similar like this is going to be the winner. So. Let's see. I'm really praying for the Terminus right now. You keep praying. I you keep praying, learn. I'll keep winning. How about that? Oh, man. <sighs> Smoked. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here comes our corner. Awesome corner. That's Come on. Wicked. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it gonna be enough? I oh don't think it God. is. No, you just maxed out. You basically just maxed no, out. No, no, I'm no, pulling. I'm pulling. I won. No, dude. <sighs> Crazy. Oh my God. Like, Man. let's go. Two more seconds. And let's go. Now I'm gonna bully you. I'm gonna oh bully you. I'm gonna put you in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camacho life. Yeah. 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 Terminus yeah. thought he was him. Yeah. Nope. You're not. Sorry. Nope. Reality check, buddy. Okay, let's take these uh, up to Sandy Shores and we can do some. Uh, some new top speed testing with the Sandy Shores top speeds and some off-road drag races as well. 
For this drag race, because top speeds are different in Sandy Shores, we're gonna be starting over here at the Big O Juice Stand. And we're gonna be making our way down this main road and the first person to cross this bridge over here will be the winner. So let's line them up. Big old I'm juice just stand. It that way. Yeah. Go around go. Swinger's getting griefed. Oh yeah. Oh my let's god. Go. Off the line, bro. He's so fast. I now I just have to hold position. Stupid fast. Yeah, you you hold position. You go ahead. You go ahead and do that, buddy. Oh yeah. You go ahead. Oh, and try. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. <gasps> I'm on your left, oh, Twingo. Oh, man. I'm on your right, Twingo. No! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh! <gasps> yeah, come at your, come at your life. No, come on. Uh, rest come at your guy. life. Oh, come my on. God. <laughs> oh, we're pulling! <gasps> Give that guy a little love tap. Camacho's pulling, buddy. No, is it? A little bit. It looks ahead to me. The the Terminator or Terminus. Yeah, the, the Terminus is. is oh ahead. my god. Oh, we got it. The that Terminus won in Sandy Shores. Me. Yeah, it's crazy. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the Sandy Shores top speeds do uh, prove different for the Terminus. Because these are the fastest off-road vehicles in a straight line, we're gonna be doing some off-road drag races as well. We're lined up here right next to the train tracks, next to our Top Gear Circuit starting line, and we're gonna be going down this road and the first person to make it uh, back onto the road here by this little triangle is going to be our winner. So, are you ready, gentlemen? Oh, I'm yeah. ready. I was born ready. Let's do this. I'm pretty come excited. Come time. It's come out your time, baby. Time to Camacho all oh, over no. the place. Oh, perfect start. Oh, no. Let's go. Nice job, GTA. Well, you pitted me, buddy. Typical Jeep uh, driver. I, I was trying to avoid being in the bushes, actually. Oh, my God. This thing is that so thing bouncy. Does not start, that thing does not do well with bumps, it seems like. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, looks like the Camacho's kind of inching up on us here. Come on, Camacho. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Nice. Ah, the the Draugr, Draugr off-road is crazy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that sucks. Um, I mean, you know, I think that kind of is part of its performance, right? If, yeah, if it's, it's that just bouncy, bouncing. It's... Yeah, I think it's bouncing, man. Yeah. Damn, the Draugr's good off-road, Just though. like NPC. God damn it. Yeah, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, what? Damn it. Uh... Draugr's crazy off-road. Yeah, okay, well, Draugr seems like it is the king of off-road in here. Because handling is uh, is also a thing. Let's take these onto the off-road time trial, and then we'll put them up against each other one by one and see which one comes out on top. All right, guys, for our next section, we've got the off-road time trial, which includes a lot of bumps and turns. So that's gonna test more vehicle handling. And first up, we've got the Camacho, and we're gonna start over here at our Top Gear Challenge time trial. And we're gonna go along this top road here, not take the jump, because that's a little risky and can cause some issues. And then uh, as soon as we cross the pavement, we'll stop the timer. And then at the very end, we'll compare all of the times to the cars. So Camacho up first, starting in three, two, one, go. Take this first corner nice and easy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I could feel the weight in that one. It just carried us straight through. The Camacho is a little bit of a heavier vehicle, so it doesn't eat the bumps nearly as bad. Or I guess you could say it does eat the bumps, like it's nothing. But it can cause some issues in uh, stiffness in its turning, so hopefully that doesn't uh, play a, a major factor here. Oh! That's not good. Watch out for the tree! Oh my god. If I was not holding the brakes there, we would have been straight into that. Oh my god, we're cooking. Oh my god. I don't even feel like I'm driving. We're just ice skating. Ride the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That was huge. Huge for the handling on the Camacho. <gasps> to the wall, that's okay. Nothing the Camacho can't handle. Slide through that corner there. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. This thing is fast as we just saw in the drag races, so. Let's hope we can keep it speed up here. Oh. oh, clean, that was so clean. 
Okay, a little bit of a love tap to redirect us. That's okay. And there's the finish line ending in three, two, one. Stop. That was clean. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's grab our next car and uh, run the time trial and then we can compare times at the very end. Up next we have the Draugr, which is our current fastest off-road vehicle in the game, aside from the BF400, which is a motorcycle. So we've got a timer ready here. Let's start in three, two, one, go. And we're off pretty quick off the line. That corner, nothing for the Draugr. Jesus, man, it's so fast. Gotta take our corners nice and wide. This thing cooks, bro. I'm not getting slowed by any of these corners. Oh my god. The Draugr is the king. Little bit of two-wheel action that we can get with the Draugr because it's so tall. Hopefully we don't get too much of it during this run. It is very springy. Um, can be snappy sometimes. Oh. Snap forward. That's what we like to see. And then we'll take the wall here. Keep our speed up. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Be careful there not to end up in the ditch. And now we're booking it. Oh my god. The Draugr does keep up its speed as we saw in the off-road section. It keeps up its speed in the dirt in comparison to the Camacho and the, um, the Terminus. And we're flying right now. Oh my god. The acceleration is ridiculous. And we're stopping in 3, 2, 1. Boom, across the line. I'm not gonna reveal the times just yet because I want you guys to, I wanna build anticipation for the results. So let's grab our Terminus and then uh, we'll run it again. Up next, we have our brand new contender in the Terminus, never tested before on our top gear time trial. So it's time to run it. Three, two, one, go. Little slower off the line than the Draugr, it seems. The Draugr's got insane acceleration, but that first corner taken with ease. Ooh, it seems a little slower here already. And uh, hopefully this thing doesn't suffer from any tipping. It's kind of, ooh, we're kind of bouncing everywhere. Oh my god. I'm gonna do my best to not tip, because that would not be very cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's also a pretty tall vehicle. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, drift. Oh my god! Dude, this is wild. This thing is wild. <gasps> Ride the wall. Oh my god, we had to slow down a little bit because I feel like I was gonna go straight into the wall. Oh my god! We're kind of like flying over the bumps in a literal sense, less of a metaphorical sense. We are bouncing everywhere, but it's going. It's going. That's what we want to see. We made it to the last section here. Around the corner. Oh, don't die. Oh, oh we caught ourselves. Oh my god. Oh, that engine revving is crazy, though. And the finish line. Three, two, one. Boom. Okay. We've got the time of our terminus. I'm thinking because in the last video, we had the monstrosity. I think we test the monstrosity as well. I'm curious to see how it would hold up since the monstrosity is known for its agileness. So uh, let's test that out. And then at the end, we'll compare the times. For our next vehicle, we're gonna be testing the monstrosity because we used it in the last video. And although it might not be fast in a straight line, it is very agile when it comes to turning. Um, so hopefully it can prove itself here. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. A little bit of a slow launch in comparison to our other vehicles, but it should be able to corner quite well. Took that one at full speed, basically. And uh, these ones, not so much. Oh boy. Oh man. The monstrosity is like, it's also kind of bouncy. It's got the same issue with the terminus. So I know this thing's crazy for breaking ankles. And I love driving this vehicle. I don't know. It doesn't seem like we're on a very fast pace right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, careful not to roll there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're flying. Take the corner a little bit. Beautiful. Oh my god. 
that was our best one yet. It's just not that fast. I think. It just doesn't seem like it's that fast. This is not HSW, by the way, because I'm on PC, so... Yeah, don't have access to the HSW version. Obviously, that one's much faster. The Monstrosity without the HSW upgrades is still a very fast vehicle, though. Oh my god, we're reaching the finish line. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Last vehicle I want to test is the BF400, because that is in contention with the driver for fastest off-road vehicle. So, that will be our final test, and then I'll reveal the results. And our final vehicle test is going to be the BF400, one of the fastest off-road vehicles in the game, of course, because it's a motorcycle, it's really agile, and uh, it's small and light. So here we are with our test, starting in three, two, one, go! Of course, we've got the wheelies as well. I'll try to do that as best as I can. Oh my God, took that corner a little wide, but we're still flying. Oh my goodness. This thing is cooking. Oh, dude. This almost seems unfair. This thing is flying. Oh my goodness. Careful to avoid too much air time. Dangerous terrain, but we got it. Oh my god. This thing actually has such good control in the dirt. It's insane. It's like very snappy, you know? It feels like it's digging into the dirt. And, uh, oh, we're on the side a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful turn. Oh my god, we're eating those bumps. Being extra careful because we're on a bike. We don't want to send it into the cliffs along with our own body. Holy cow, this thing is fast, man. Little break there. Oh my god. Oh my god, we are cooking. <gasps> Could have been bad. Could have been real bad. Here we are. Here's the end. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh my god. That is crazy. That is crazy. These, dude. Okay, I'm really excited to share the results with you guys. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to announce the results of our Offered Time Trial Championship. In fifth place, we have the Maibatsu Monstrosity with a time of one minute and 34 seconds. It was not nearly as fast as we'd hoped. Seems like it is just a little lackluster without that HSW upgrade. Nonetheless, it is a fun car to drive. In fourth place, we have the Canis Terminus with the time of 1.31. Yeah, the bumps were just... It proved to be a detriment in our run, despite us having pretty clean driving. Entering into the 120 time zone. In third place, we have the Camacho with a time of 129. The weight really did prove itself there. And now for our first place vehicle. We have the De Classy Draugr with the time of 127.09. And the BF400 is our runner up with 127.35. So a 0.24 second difference between the BF400 and the Draugr. Pretty insane stuff. The Draugr still remains our off-road king, although 0.24 seconds could be attributed to driver error. I'm sure there's some in-maxing that can be done. But of course, it would get smoked in a drag race by the BF400 since it's a motorcycle and it's got a wheelie. So it's really up to you for what you find more valuable, what kind of situation you're in. But there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tournament style off-road challenge that we did. Be sure to drop a like if you guys did, comment down below, and let me know if you guys would like to see these vehicles face off in a chili ad climb. I'm thinking that could be really fun to try out next. Sub to the channel if you guys are new and would like to see more content like this, more vehicle testing. I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it just as much. So yeah, that's about it. Till then, take care. Peace.